Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 40 of the Battle Pope in 1.30. Today we'll attempt to sort of dismantle the HRE, but I don't know how far we'll get in today's episode with the limited time we have. It'll be a long endeavor here. We'll have to start off by declaring on Saxony, wiping out their alliance, and then moving on towards uh, Hainaut and their alliance, keeping Provence in here. And then finally moving on towards Luxembourg, because as someone reminded me in the comments, you actually can't declare war on a member of the HRE if you're at war with the Emperor. So I imagine uh, that would get in the way of our plans if that wasn't noticed. So basically, shout out to whoever said that. It's so much appreciated. Because I totally wouldn't have noticed and I would have messed up super hard. Would have been a big problem. But I can continue to, for some reason, eclipse the Commonwealth and get some free points. I'm totally okay with that. Works for me. And how's our unrest? It's really not that bad. I think I'm willing to actually begin the war. Let's just make sure we have three stacks over here, because they have... Sorry, wrong person. Uh, they have a total of around... That's not very helpful, then, is it? Uh, I'd still have to do a bit of mental gymnastics just to figure that one out, but I'd say at least 150,000 troops, somewhere closer to 170,000. But that should be no problem, so long as we bring in four stacks. How does that sound? Should be super easy, no problem. We're gonna go ahead and make it all um, bit by bit as we move on in this whole thing, so... We'll start with Imperialism on Saxony, and we'll invade Austria, being careful to make sure we have enough war score to white piece them. Keep in mind, we're not here to uh, get rid of them entirely, we're here mostly to just to white piece them. Just make this as easy and smooth as we can. One of the biggest issues we actually have is the fact that I can't bypass this fort despite not being in a war where Bohemia is on my side. I guess forts are just... well, they work in fascinating ways. So unfortunately we'll still have to siege that one too, even if it isn't beneficial towards me. I have no choice. Okay, well that's one siege done. I'd like to go find some OPMs like Bayreuth, which is actually two provinces. Oh no, is Lanswit in here? They are, okay. Uh, I can't take their capital, but they do only have level 2 forts, so this whole endeavor should be made very easy. Let's get some prestige. I'm just wondering, do we have mill access through... Well, not the entire HRE. Maybe I'll want to do this in a method that allows me to reach up towards Hamburg. And then slowly move backwards. I think we can get Landshut out without any problems, though. That should be relatively manageable. Hamburg, Landshut, Lüneburg. Lüneburg being up here, reduced to a single province. Mm, that's a farm. I could attack them, but... That's okay. The question of Holstein... Emperor demands the restoration of Holstein to the Empire from Scandinavia. Scandinavia says no, it's mine, and we'll see if a uh, if a war breaks out over that. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. But the Emperor is quite weak this time around, so I don't know if they're going to. In simpler terms, they would get crushed, and there's no point in trying. Now I have a couple of Separatists, I wonder where those are. Over here? Okay, they're actually my subjects. Gotcha. I'll go and take care of them. And it looks like I can have one extra... No, I can't have one extra leader. I just got rid of the pop-up for some reason. Huh. That's fascinating. Don't know where it went, but... Okay. Siege of Budweiss is done. Great. Uh, it would be a bit of a stretch to try and go immediately... For Hamburg, so I'll I'll uh, 
hang back on that a little. Austria would like peace. Very understandable. I will take a single province from you. Just to clean up what this area looks like. And we can leave. There we go. And how about the rest of them? I haven't taken your capital yet. I still need to take Landshutz. I think that's still your capital, isn't it? No, you moved your capital to Freising. The reason why, I couldn't possibly imagine. I also think you're likely to bring in... Yeah, I'm going to bring in that stack as well, so I'm going to move in just the same. No stack weight, but... Yeah, it's good enough. I'll get you a new leader. Oh, very good. Three stars, that's beautiful. That's some good stuff. So you're sieging up there. Works for me. Can I get Lanshut out? I can, okay, great. I could give some land to my vassal as well. Interestingly enough. Um, hmm... If I were to, I would definitely wait a little longer. Yeah, I would definitely wait a little longer. Curious as to where they're going, though. Oh, did you take Intal back? You did. I didn't even notice. But they definitely did. Bamberg, Bayreuth should definitely move up into there. Nuremberg. Uh, why can't we walk directly into here? What's blocking that? Then the Bayreuth are forward, so over here? No, it's Minchen. Find it odd. Okay, I guess I just don't have access through here. That would make sense. That would make definite sense. Can I go to Hamburg? No. Well, I could, but someone else is already on it. And it is heavily defended. Fort level 7. Oh boy. Those are always fun to deal with. We've lost a leader as well. Let's get a new general on you. Yeah, pretty decent. Not bad. Hamburg actually doesn't want to be here at all. Okay. Well, that works for me. I'll white piece you. Then we'll move on to uh, Landshut, which I will take a few provinces from, I think. Just because it doesn't make people very angry. Can I have you return provinces? No. Sorry, uh, wrong person. Can I have you return bad? I can. Which is even better, because that's less AE. I can request that one province. Um, Force Religion is a little too far outside my range there. I'll ask for some alliances, like Saxony. And I think we're done. I'll just ask for a little bit less cash. And there we go. We gave Bandon a few provinces back. And I can't quite give this to my subject yet. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait a little while for that. So, we're going to siege Bayreuth and Lienberg. First, we have to grab Braunschweig before we can do that. I could just core it, to be honest. Maybe I will. Doesn't make much difference to me whether I core it or do whatever, you know? But anyways, the key point of this war is to obliterate the Saxon army. So that I might be able to... Um, so that I might be able to simply sit on the land without having to worry about it being desieged. The only problem is potentially uh, other nations' armies coming in and ruining things. But so long as we have a good hold on their capital, we should be okay. A Bayreuth would probably leave. Nice. We'll get rid of your alliances. Ask for money. I could even force religion, actually. Which I'm interested in doing. They don't like that idea. Can't possibly imagine why. Okay, you can keep your lines with Turingia. That's no problem. And have fun being Catholic from now on. We're gonna move these guys back home over here. 
See if I can... Oh, I actually have no idea where you're going, not gonna lie. Over here. Yeah, there we go. Probably no stack wipe, but good damage done. They're gonna get a reinforced tick, though. Very unfortunate. I actually still have no clue where they're going. Where are you running off to? Over here. Okay. Bunch of cores are done. That's a stack wipe. Beautiful. Wonder if I can force march and catch up to him. I feel like I should be able to. No stack wipe, but we should be able to get one soon. Hmm. Just depends on where he's going. Far, far away, apparently. Okay, cool. Let's get a level 2 trading person. Half cough? Half cough? Yes, <laughs> half cost. Um, unable to be actually uh, leveled up, though, or upgraded, unfortunately, but. Or promoted, that's the term. That's the one. Oh, we've gotten our gotten our ability to get our manpower back. Gotten that back. That's great. And there's Lundberg, which will probably peace out very easily. There we go. You're already Catholic. Well, that's good. It's great. Let's just get rid of your alliances. I don't care about a little bit of your gold. It's not like you make much anyway, right? There we go. And now all, all that's left is Saxony, which we hold the capital of. There we go. That is two out of the multiple, multiple nations we will have to invade. Uh, sorry, that's two out of the eight total capitals we must control. Uh, somehow you got past me like that. That's a little weird. I'll have to fix that up. I'm surprised how they're still, you know, still alive in this whole thing. But anyways, we have to move on to the second set of allies, which will be... So after we have Saxony, we have to move on towards Hainaut, I believe it was. Which will bring in Landshut once again, uh, then Provence and Alençon. So I suppose we should simply begin... I'll go for your capital. I'll bring in a second guy over here. If we want to reach Hainaut, we have to move in through there. Landshut is still up here. How many armies do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's have let's have one go back into Landshut. One should go to Provence for this. One should go to Hainaut. And there's Alençon as well. Okay, actually, scratch that. One will go to Alençon. Which I cannot reach, actually. Blocked by Hostile Fort. Oh, it's literally right there. I couldn't even see it. I'm just blind. Okay, cool. I'll move you into here. You can go into high note, and you, once you're done getting unblack flagged, can go into München over here. Great. Now this army just sort of sticks around and exists to make sure all the capitals are still sieged the way they should be. Oh, and I got the same day glitch, one of my favorites. Arrive on the same day that they're retreating, and, well, you get that. It's great stuff. Alright. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna spend some Diplo, I think. Let's get some trade pumped out. Might as well get us towards, uh... 100% mercantilism, why not? It's basically just a ton of free cash. Okay, that's done. Bunch of sieges are going down. Go straight for the capital. Siege of Anjou is over. I will move you to Alençon. Alençon, maybe? That would, that's definitely the better pronunciation. Alençon, not son. 
I was pronouncing it wrong the entire time. See if we can get rid of those guys. And Grasslands. This is a defensive on the woods. I would like to fight here much more. They might win still, though. They might feed enough men into the battle. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. So we'll have to peace out. Or not peace out, but of course we'll have to leave. Yeah, because they outfed manpower into there. Because my back row, my back uh, row of morale was taking morale damage. My back row of infantry was taking morale damage. Well, they got to simply replace theirs over time. And that's just how battles work. It's no problem. Uh, what's up with you? Oh, right. I accidentally enforced your religion. That... <laughs> I actually forgot about that. That was kind of a big mistake. So, Alençon is over. Let's go and... I could take the whole thing, to be honest. Makes people a little bit angry, but I haven't done much in Europe for a long time, so I don't feel bad about doing it. Thank you. So I can court all of those. Not these, though. Not main. Or with Provence, who happens to have cores. Of course they would. Of course they would. Let's see here. Landshut and Provence. Uh, which means this army doesn't have to do anything. Okay, cool. Mlukian, Tripolitanian, and Ottoman Separatists. You should be able to deal with all of those. That's your entire purpose. Unfortunate that they'll probably end up sieging Saxony back down. Um, yeah, we'll do that. They very well, yeah. <laughs> they ended up taking back the capital of Saxony. I'll have to take that back, but it's not a real issue. So, Landshut, I'm sure you don't want to be in this for the second time as well. I could actually feed my vassal even more land, you know, feed them further, further land, but I don't... I don't know if I really want to. Not really. I could feed him one thing, though. One piece of Lower Franconia. Sure. You may have one spot of land. Don't think I'll have to get rid of any alliances, so I think this is fine. I'd like to feed this to my vassal, so I'm not going to core it. Or maybe... Uh... I always get caught at this crossroads because I have to end up coring it anyway. I mean, it's going to be way too long before I'll be able to feed it to anyone. So I'm just taking random pieces of land in the middle of uh, the middle of the HRE. Random little pieces next to my vassal. Okay, now let's go and bring Saxony back. Let's also get rid of their armies. Looks like they hired a company, probably. Or they could have just raised one, that makes sense. They were given enough time. Provence with their last ditch attempt to keep their capital alive. We actually have a couple of New World troops coming in here, surprisingly enough. You usually don't see those. Well, maybe you do nowadays, I don't know. That used to be a big problem. Remember back in the day, expeditionary forces just never existed. They always stayed in the New World, which is kind of a big issue back in the day, but let's not worry about that. I have way too many men on that. Let's uh, ease up on that fort there. How many men are left? Very few from both alliances. Which means we're getting closer to, one, running out of manpower, and two, having to invade Muscovy for a very quick peace. Yeah, we're out of manpower, actually, so I'm just going to slack in recruiting. Because this is one of the very last wars we'll be fighting, so... I feel pretty okay doing that. Go get rid of those men. We'll bring you down here. We have to bring multiple stacks to Muscovy, because Luxembourg happens to ally them, which is lots of fun. It's great stuff. But now, we've gone ahead and taken most of the places we need. Bregenz, Hesse, Savoy, and Luxembourg are left. Luxembourg, Hesse, Savoy, Bregenz are all in the next war. Okay. Peace from Saxony. Unfortunately, no. We have a duty. We have 
a very important mission that we cannot fail at. So let's move men towards Muscovy. Boy, is that going to take a long time. Do the same thing with a second stack. Muscovy has a total of... I can probably find it here. I actually can't. These colonies are so disgustingly powerful that I actually just can't find them. Muscovy has 58,000 men. I'll bring two stacks over to deal with them. And that should be more than enough, I think. Alright, so that's Provence. Saxony and Hainaut are complete. Hainaut? I cannot believe I keep pronouncing it. What's probably wrong, considering the location. But anyways... Keep these men moving along here. One stack's actually moving through the Commonwealth, which is quite nice. Very convenient. And, uh, right. We should begin once these stacks arrive. Over in Muscovy. I just have to find their new capital. Nishni Novgorod over there. And we should be good. Oh, let's not stack up like that. Hardly have enough manpower as it is. Getting pretty close. Over there. Lost my advisor. I don't know what he was, but... I'm sure we can find something better. Uh, let's go with... Discipline. We can promote him, right? Yeah, we have more than enough money to promote and stuff like that. Um, can we build the Suez Canal yet? No, we're not the right tech. Unfortunately. Nor do we actually have the province. We're missing this one. As Suez. Okay, are you guys in position? Almost. Almost. I like how they'll be invading directly in the middle of winter. That's great stuff. Because that always went well. Keep one stack there. How are we doing? We're pretty much in position, so I'll declare on Luxembourg. Good thing that everyone decided to to, uh, to stay in, or else we'd have a couple issues. Alright, let's begin. We're at war with a lot of people. Well, it could be more. So we have to take the capital of Savoy, which can be done pretty easily. I don't even have to win all these wars, I just have to take the capitals. Which does make this significantly easier. So long as, well, you know, they don't take the capitals back. Uh, also, if they take the capital of uh, Badain, then that's also a problem. Because then it will not be counted as controlled by me. So I should do everything in my power to make sure they don't do that. It looks like they don't have anything on their capital, though. It's just a level 1 fort, so... Yeah, that was, like, a knife through butter. It's a hot knife through butter. There's nothing you can do about that. We'll take it back last, I think. We'll take care of all the capitals normally. And then we'll, uh, you know, move on. So how are we doing here? Pretty good so far. Might want to barrage some capitals. That might be a good idea. Oh, you've gone ahead and... You were on your way towards... Where exactly? I'm not even sure. Maybe they were just standing there. I can't I can't be sure. But yeah, no, that definitely was not good. Uh, Yaroslav is done. To get Muscovy out will require a little bit more, though. Let's go towards Novgorod. And... Getting pretty close on these ones. Let me just barrage this one, too. As for these guys, I'll go for a minor trade catastrophe. Nishni Novgorod is done. We'll move towards Kazan, just in case it's needed. Which looks like it might be. Oh, there's a timer for today. But we're so close to getting this done, I think I just want to finish it, to be honest. Alright, let's move into there. Siege a couple more forts. Against Luxembourg, Hesse, and Badin. I had a stack over here. Where did it go? Did I move it? Or did it get wiped? 
two possibilities. Uh, if I wasn't paying attention, that means it might have gotten wiped. Where was it, though? Because it was moving into here. My intuition tells me it was wiped. It's not that one. It's not this one. It's... N I don't think it was this one. It might have been, though. Yeah, no, everything is telling me that it was probably wiped, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. We took the capital of Savoy. Great. Let me actually burn that one down. Novgorod is done. We'll take Muscovy out. We don't need them here. Take your war reps. And I guess that's it. Have a good day move these guys back over and hopefully they'll get here relatively quick Let's see if I can just move them down here actually get them straight into the action that's done let's move towards let's and try and burn that down I'm surprised we're at like 92%. We haven't grabbed it before this point. Come on. Really? There we go. I'm gonna see if I can sneakily move on to my subject's capital as well. Just to get that back. Try not to engage in any units. Is Mulhausa? Are we at war with you? No. Okay. Just try and sneakily maneuver around here. How many capitals are we missing? Brigantz and Hesse as well. Okay. Gotcha. Brigantz. And Hesse. Okay. And they're trying to get rid of the capital over here. Which is actually Grasslands. So they might be able to do it really quick. This might actually require us to wait for uh, these units to come back. I'll take this stab, sure. Let's make sure that they don't take that capital back. I took, uh, what did I take back? It said I took something. No, they took Milano. That's what happened. That's what happened, okay. Took the capital of Luxembourg. Regents and Hesse. I'll move you up into uh, into Niederhessen. Take care of that Saxony stack. Actually, you can go to Niederhessen. You can go to Regents over here. Yeah, and we'll have to go and take. Uh, what is that? Geneva? Geneva? If it's supposed to be changed like that. Yeah, so you can you can actually go down here, and this stack, which has no maneuver, no wonder you're taking so long, will have you go to Brigantz. Unless, of course, we manage to siege something much faster. I don't really want to fight that, do I? No, not the hills, not quite. Okay, I'll have you move into Brigantz then. We're very close. We're very, very close. Hesse, Savoy, and Bregenz are the only capitals I require. This one, which is 14%, that one's at 35. Done. Great. Make sure they don't take this back. You can barrage this. You can barrage this one. Just two left. Bregenz and Savoy. Gotta make sure we keep those under control. We're starting to get call for peace. It's been... What is that, 30 months since the beginning of a war, which we have high war score in? So yeah, makes sense, makes sense. We lost Treviso, that's okay. Willing to make a few sacrifices. Ooh, a new Pope, but he's really good. A 3-4-6, that is an impressive Pope. Hope he lives a long time. 51, yeah, he's young enough. He'll live a good few years longer. Come on, just a few more, just a little bit more. Yes, Brigantz. Come on, just one more capital. Just one more. 
Savoy, please. Ah, oh, it's done. <laughs> I can proclaim the true Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, oh, it feels good. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the HRE. Empire dismantled. Now, my biggest question is we haven't unpaused for a day yet, so we don't know if it's actually uh, going to have the effect I think it will. But the theory goes that it should remove the the requirements for that mission. Jeez, you guys have a lot of mill access. Um, I will take your your money and stuff. I was gonna take your alliances and, and stuff like that, but. You know, everything, nothing, nothing really matters. It doesn't really depend or matter what I take. Because the HRE is now gone. Beautiful stuff. Full annexing things does not hurt nearly as much anymore. As it would have uh, beforehand. I will take these three things though. Actually, if I take it like this, does it hurt less? 31 compared to... 42. Yeah, it actually does. So if I do this, it's better. Okay, that's cool. I'll take those pieces of land. Um, of course, I'll court all of it. And I'm just going to sue for whatever piece we can get over there. Uh, I don't want to fight this war anymore. There's an ongoing battle. I'll wait for it to finish. It's between my subject and Luxembourg. There we go. And I could, of course, go absolutely crazy and just take a bunch of land, but there's no reason to do that. Uh, instead, I think I... Well, I could just take this, couldn't I? That doesn't seem so bad. I could just take that. Maybe I'll leave this behind. And then you can just get rid of your alliances, all of your ridiculous number of alliances. Let me do it one by one, actually. Even better. Force Religion, War Reps. Alliance, Alliance, Alliance. Doesn't really matter which one you get rid of. Cool. Have a good day. Bar, I can, of course, uh, Force Religion, War Reps. And just get rid of some alliances and stuff. Have a good day. And then we move on to Savoy, where I could take land, but I don't think I will. Unless it completes a state, which it really doesn't. I'd have to take three pieces of land for a full state, and that's just not worth my time. Unfortunately, I can't force religion on you. We're not far enough into the game. But I can get rid of a lot of other things. And then we move onwards towards Hesse. Or I could just take this stuff and leave. I mean, nah, well, it doesn't really matter. Thanks for the land. Uh, Force religion. Maybe no war reps. And less money. Thank you. And then we wait a day. And we have just you left. The former emperor. The shadow of his former self. Ooh, I could enforce religion on you, couldn't I? <laughs> That'd require a little bit too much war score, though. I don't really care that much. Here. Just get out of here. Sure. Okay, well, that's... That's uh, also gonna trigger court and country. We're also 200 over governing capacity. That's cool. That's good stuff. Um, but let me bring the men back, and let me test my theory. This episode's already gone way too long, but, you know, it's a special episode. We just dismantled the whole HRE, so I think that's special. Now, does this... Oh, ho, 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 I see. Sneaky, sneaky. I like that. I like that. That's impressive. Okay, so th they changed some of the... I see. Okay, they changed some of the requirements, as you can see. 
they have changed it where every nation with a Germanic primary culture must be Catholic. I do like that. That's very sneaky. I wouldn't have expected that. I thought it was just going to uh, remove the whole thing entirely. Um, I don't know if I'll continue this series longer then, if we if we want to get rid of that or not, but we've already gone on way too long on this episode, so I hope you enjoyed it. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick shout out for the patrons for the month of July, especially those we have in the Admiral tier, Ben Greenhagen, Karin Yuli, and Tiger Pop. Those in the General Tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, and Alexander Baker. Those in the Prince Tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. And as always, in the King Tier, we have Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a lot to me. You're helping to move this channel forward much more than you know. And as always, I cannot possibly thank you enough.